Listen, it's Cuddy, man. This is Big Yacht. It's my little bro. Jersey wide right. vlog. That's right. We baby. doing what we doing, yo. And it's Jersey. It's I mean, look, the title alone is what it is. Jersey. Yeah. It's my little bro and I love him. Let's get it. It's Jersey Watch. Hey yo, what's going on, y'all? Cuddy from Jersey Watch Blog. We are in the building with one of the the OGs, the guys, the reason why he got me in the music industry. The the man that's changing people's lives every day. How much more of a better introduction could I give nah, the OG? Yanti, baby. What's up? What's good, man? What's good with you? I'm feeling good. I told you this is a moment for me. So I'm gonna take full advantage of it. So look. You've seen me grow. I've seen you propel up and elevate all the way up to the to the to the sky level. Uh, what's something new that you're working on that the people can get in touch with? Just before we start talking about tonight. Um, actively, we doing Simba. I actually got him. I came here from the studio, okay. so we got right, Simba man. in the studio now till tomorrow. Um, we just got Rihanna's nominated for an Emmy for the. Uh, Fenty, Fenty joint from last year, so okay, okay. so we up for that, you know, prayerfully we win it, you know what I mean, my guy go. Apollo in the building, you know, I mean, I'm just working, bro, like, we got this thing with uh, Carvin Higgins, uh, the writer of Music Soul Child and a bunch of other artists and whatnot. Come on, we getting the cameos, baby, this is what happens, you feel me? I love this guy right here, man, but yeah, uh, somewhere Carvin Higgins, we got a system called The Ring, where we brought together, uh, like, a bunch of writers producers that's doing their thing salute to that team you know we got ab lava he won his first grammy with kanye last okay. this year and uh the lemon on his first grammy with who's also from borough with jasmine sullivan so yeah, yeah. it's got a team of good people working and just building people up man building culture building bringing culture back to the game you know what i mean that's it i love that man and look you're you're a witness of it again everything that you were saying is true and it's here so, we here tonight. We at the producer battle. You got some of the illest beats people done ever heard in their life. And you get to see the people coming up and the people in the studio. What did you like about tonight? Um, well, what I did like is that, you know, I like to see cats who are not afraid to step on stage and, you know, display your talent because it's not easy. You know, it's not easy, you know, to, to step in front of a bunch of people, get them to like what you're doing, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then if they don't like it, still continue. Yeah, bad. So that's the tough thing. So that's the first thing I commend. But, you know, I enjoyed the, being innovative. You know, I, I would like to see cats go harder, yeah. you know, because like you said, with me being a producer, I'm looking for something that's about to make me jump out the chair. Right, right, right. I ain't jump out the chair, but at the same time, watching cats start, and seeing where they at now, I'm sure that, that in due time I'll be jumping out my chair. So I, I look forward to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now the finals was crazy. Yeah, Everybody I, else who came up it, up to the finals was out. crazy also, no, but the finals was crazy. Yeah, was Trenton took it home. What did you like about that battle? Um, well, I like Seth. He crazy, and, you know. I, and I like Poe po Brothers' versatility. They super crazy. You know, I just enjoyed the camaraderie, man. You know, and no losers. Nobody nobody lost. Everybody won. It's like seeing cats get busy, man. You know, that's it. I'm in the game for that. I don't, the cameras and everything else, that's extra. I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm in it for that. You know what I mean? Exactly. And you st and there's still a lot of young up-and-coming that's here soaking up the game. Yeah. Even being able to rub shoulders with you and have conversations yeah. and share tips and that. That's all growing the, the producer community. So yeah. where do you see this going? I mean, the producer B battles, it seems to be helping out a lot of producers yeah, yeah. and connecting people also. Well, in all honesty, it's been going on for a minute. Like, it started with Beat Society. Which, which was which where you could find like Ninth Wonder, Kanye West, like a lot of crazy cats, Just Blaze, everybody was at that joint. And that was in Philly, you know, so to see it continuing on is a good thing and it's, it's needed. But like I said, I'm, I'm available for anybody. I'm not unaccessible to anybody, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm around to help, so, you know, just keep it going. We're here, baby. So look, last part. What's something that you would tell a producer who's on the up and coming and they trying to like perfect their flow and really elevate themselves inside of the music industry? I would say don't be pigeon held by what everybody's doing. You know, find a way to be innovative, be the trendsetter. You know, a lot of producers now follow the trend, you know, but you gotta look at the ones that 
when you think about the producers that's still on top, no matter what, when you mention their name, we know exactly who they are. It's a handful. If you say Dr. Dre, we know exactly who Dr. Dre is. If you say Pharrell, we know exactly who Pharrell is. If you say Timberland, we know exactly who Timberland is. And I could go on with a few couple, few others, but what I'm saying is be one or be that. Be somebody who sets it off. And the best thing I say to producers now, find you an artist. Break the artist. Placements is cool, but when you, when you say you made this artist, when Timberland, we don't know Missy without Timberland. 100%. 50 Cent, Dr. Dre. Eminem, Dr. Dre. You understand what I'm saying? Nori's popping off. Like, we knew Nori from CNN, but as soon as Nori got with Neptunes, yeah. it was a whole nother thing. 100%. Clips. Nor Clips is what? Neptunes. 100%. So when you think of, like, the producers that's on the top and, and will never come down from there, they're the ones that created a time. You know what I mean? They created something. Even Puff, even Puffy, like he not physically touching the board, the touching the, the equipment, but, he put, but he's he still producing together. the record. So even when you think about that, you know what I mean? Like so, these cats are, will never come from the top. We can only join them, but we, they won't come down. You know what I'm saying? And so you want to be one of them. You don't want to be the one that's I'm gonna make a beat like Dre. I'm gonna make a beat like no, beat them, become that. So that's what I tell the producers, man. Whoo, man, and look, y'all need to be taking the advice, all right? Because I listen to everything this man say. Look, I'm looking pretty, all right? I'm looking pretty clean, right? Come on, I'm looking pretty clean. So, look, where can the people follow you so they can get in touch with you? They can book some studio time. They can learn from just the knowledgeable Yanti. Listen, follow me, get at me, Big Yant on everything. B-I-G-Y-O-U-N-T, Big Yant on everything. It's my name, Yanti, so... That's it. So look, man, we out here, man. The producer battles is going crazy. One of the judges. It's been an epic night, and we still got more coming your way. I got cute behind the cam. We out of here, baby. Ooh.